Hola a todos and welcome to your free Spanish lesson. Mi nombre es Ingrid Jackson and I am your Spanish instructor. Now as we do every week, we're going to start by going over your homework from last week. And here we go. Now, last week I gave you 10 words. You were supposed to find the meaning for those words and create sentences with those words using what you learned last week. Now we're going to go over those sentences as well as the words and their meaning. Okay. Word number one, parque. Parque means park. Word number two, correr. Correr means run or to run. Word number three, correo. Correo means mail, as in uh, uh, electronic mail. Word number four, saltar. Saltar means jump or to jump. Word number five, bailar. Bailar means dance or to dance. Word number six, llorar. Llorar means cry or to cry. Word number seven, Francia. Francia means France, as in the country of France. Word number eight, limpiar. Limpiar means to clean. Word number nine, cocinar. Cocinar means to cook. Word number 10, museo. And as you know, because I gave you this word last week, museo means museum. Okay. Now, last week, I gave you two different sentences that uh, basically it means I'm going to. Okay. Now, these two sentences are different only by one word, and that is when you're going to a place such as the park or a thing such as the car, okay, you would say, yo voy para el parque, which means I'm going to the park. Or you can say, yo voy para el carro, which means I'm going to the car. Yo voy para Francia which means you're going to France. So you would use yo voy para when you're going to a place or a thing. Now, if you're going to take an action, okay, there are different types of verbs and they all, you know, the, 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 we're just going to talk about the ones that refer to actions, okay? You're going to say yo voy a and then you're, whatever action you're going to take. So, for example, yo voy a bailar, I'm going to dance. Yo voy a llorar, I'm going to cry. So there's a difference between yo voy para and then to a place or a thing, and yo voy a, that's when you're going to take an action. Okay, so now we're going to go over these 10 words using these sentences to make sure, so you can revise it and make sure that you have it correct. Okay, so the first word is parque. Parque, which means park, is a place. So we're going to say, yo voy para el parque. Okay, yo voy para el parque. Word number two, correr. Correr means to run. And because it's an action, that's going to change now. And it's going to be, yo voy a correr. Yo voy a correr. Okay. Now, word number three, correo. Correo means mail, as in electronic mail. Okay. So, we're going to use that word um, in the form of an action. So, we're going to add something extra to that. Okay. So, you're going to say, yo voy a buscar mi correo. I'm going to get my mail. Okay. Yo voy a buscar mi correo. I'm going to go get my mail. Or you can say the mail and just say, yo voy a buscar el correo. Okay. 
word number four, saltar. Saltar means to jump. Again, that's an action, so you're going to say, yo voy a saltar. Yo voy a saltar. Word number five, bailar. Bailar is to dance. So again, it's an action, so you're going to say, yo voy a bailar. Word number six, llorar. Llorar is to cry. So again, it's an, it's an action, it's not a place or a thing, so you're going to say, yo voy a llorar. Yo voy a llorar. Okay. Word number seven, Francia. Francia meaning France, as in the country of France. Now you're going to a place, so you're going to change that and say, yo voy para Francia. Yo voy para Francia. Okay. Word number eight, limpiar. Limpiar means to clean. So, it's an action. So, you're going to say, yo voy a limpiar. Yo voy a limpiar. Word number nine, cocinar. Cocinar means to cook. Okay, it's an action. So, you're going to say, yo voy a cocinar. Yo voy a cocinar, okay? And word number 10, which you should know because I gave it to you last week, museo, right? Well, you should know by now because we just went over them anyway, um, means museum. So it's a place. So we're going to say yo voy para el museo. So just to be clear, when you say yo voy para, means you're going to a place or a place such as El parque, which is the park, or a thing such as the car. But if you say yo voy a, that means an action is going to come behind that. Correr, yo voy a correr, which means to run. You're going to run. Or you're going to bailar, which means to dance. Yo voy a bailar. Yo, I'm going to dance. And yo voy a correr. I'm going to run, okay? And basically, that's that when it comes to those words. Now, I do want to pause here for a minute and go into this a little bit more before we get into today's lesson, uh, which should be short enough, um, hopefully. Um, when we're talking about, for example, el parque, as you know, if you watch the lessons from before, and if you haven't, please do so and do it one, two, three, like that. So you understand and you know what's going on because it's kind of like an ingredient and it's meant and things are meant and said enough and in certain ways so you can retain it. Okay, so you can remember them. Otherwise, you may feel a bit lost. That's why I say that. But anyway, when we say el parque, we're referring to the park as masculine. And we know why. Because I taught you that. If the last vowel in the word, not that the word needs to end with a vowel, but if the last vowel in the word is an A, we're going to treat it as feminine. If it's an O, we're going to treat it as masculine. In this case, is neither an A or an O. It's an E. And that's going to be masculine as well. I also taught you that when you're gen generalizing, in other words, if you're talking about something and you're generalizing about it and you do not know the um, if it's feminine or masculine, you're going to treat it as masculine until you know that it is not if it isn't. Then you're going to change it to feminine. Okay. If you're talking about, for example, groups, okay, um, let's say you say the teachers, okay, you're going to say los maestros. So generalizing, it's always going to be masculine. Okay, so the teachers, there could be female and male teachers in that group, but because you're generalizing, you're going to treat it as masculine and you're going to say los maestros. Okay, and that's what I wanted to say about that. Now, also, last week when I was giving you these words, I said, you know, I hope you can see a pattern in these words, and that is that 
when it comes to the verbs, which is, you know, the actions. There, I think, I think it's like three different types of verbs. Don't take my word for that. But anyway, in this particular, for this particular one, we're talking about action. If you can tell the the words that are verbs that are uh, pertaining to action or referring to an action, they end with an R. All of them. Correr, to run, action. Uh, saltar, to jump, action. Bailar, to dance, action. Llorar, to cry, again, action. So what does that tell us? If you want to turn it into an action or if you hear that it ends with an R, we're probably talking about an action, okay? So I'll go more in depth into this because I think that's pretty interesting and we'll, we'll talk about this pattern a little bit more for next week because I have something else that I want to show you and teach you this week and that'll be great because then next week we can come back to this and go over this R's um, at the end uh, of this verb um, that I've given you. Uh, but I thought that was an interesting thing. So what I suggest you do is go online and look for different verbs, uh, different actions in Spanish. And, uh, you know, it's going to be interesting and funny if they all end with an R. So well, I'm going to look for a few, and I suggest you do that, and then next week we can uh, get back together and discuss this, okay? Now, we're going to go into today's lesson, which again should be short enough. Now, for this week's lesson, I'm going to show you just a few simple words, which is how, who, what, where, and when. And this here is my nieta, which you should know what that word uh, means by now, which is my granddaughter. Say hi. hi. And what's your name? Tati. Tatiana, but we call her Tati, right? Say, mi nombre es Tatiana. Mm -hmm. Say it. Mi nombre. Oh, you're shy? You're being shy? Huh? I want a cracker. You want a cracker? <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to show you how, who, what, where, and when after Tati gets her cracker. One, two, three. Now that Tati has gotten her cracker. One, two, three. Now that Tati has gotten her crackers, we're going to go ahead and go over those words now. First word is how. Como, como, who, quien, quien, what, what? que, que, where, donde, donde, when, cuando, cuando, and basically that's how, who, what, where and when is said in Spanish. How, como, who, quien, what, que, where, donde, when, cuando. So now I'm going to give you five sentences to show you how to use these words that you just learned. How, which means como. First sentence, or the only sentence for this one word that I'm going to give you is como te sientes. That means, how do you feel? Como te sientes? Second one, who, which means quien. Quien abrió el parque? Who opened the park? Quien abrió el parque? Who opened the park? Word number three, what, which means que. ¿Qué sientes? Which means, what do you feel? ¿Qué sientes? What do you feel? Where? ¿Dónde? Where? ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde está el parque? Where is the park? ¿Dónde está el parque? Where is the park? Over here. Yes, it is. ¿Dónde está el parque? 
When. Cuando. Cuando abre el parque. When does the park open? Cuando abre el parque. When does the park open? And basically, these are examples uh, for you to have on how to use those words. So here comes your homework. And with these words, all I want you to do is find the meaning for them and nothing else. Because when you do, you'll be like, oh, and that's what I want. Abre. That's word number one. Abre. Word number two. Abrió, abrió. Word number three, abrir, abrir. Word number four, corre, corre. Word number five, correr, correr. Word number six, corrió, corrió. Word number seven, mira, mira. Word number eight, mirar, mirar. Word number nine, miró, miró. Word number ten, come, come. Word number eleven, comió. Comió. Word number 12. Comer. Comer. And that is it for your homework and for today's lesson. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it as much as I and have. I like your ring. You like my ring? Okay. This is it for today's lesson. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as we have. <laughs> you haven't? Okay. I have. And until next I week, did. I wish you all lots of buena suerte. Mm -hmm. Till then, bye bye.